welcome to the laptop barn and today we're going to be teaching you how to replace the keys on an E5550 keyboard. This is so easy I can even do it. Very interesting. Fred from the laptop barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the keyboard in a Dell Latitude E5550 laptop. Several screws involved. <clears throat> Turn it over, and as we show here, you undo the screws. Might have noticed I had a few of the grandkids there in the intro. They wanted to get in on our uh, YouTube action, make them legends in their own time. We'll have a few of them pop up here throughout the throughout the video. Okay, once you get these uh, screws off, use a little pry tool. We use the little small flat screwdriver, to, and that back will just pop off. Now you have to remove the battery to get at the screws that uh, you need to do this. So just uh, take the screws out of the battery. You don't have to unhook the cable. And then um, go ahead and turn it back over. Use a little pry tool and you're going to pry up this retaining ring. It's not held down by any screws. It's just press fit in there. So you got to get it started and work your way around that just pulls off be careful they're pretty pretty tough but be careful now you got uh, several screws to release the keyboard <clears throat> so we go around and take out these screws now again with your pry tool just kind of work your way around it a little pull up. Whoops, forgot a screw. Don't force it. There you go. Now we got it off. You see there's three connectors there on the bottom. We'll show you in a minute how to put them back on. But that's what we undid when we were under that battery compartment. Now you put a new one on. You just slide those connectors into the slot under the touchpad. And then... Uh, Get the, uh, kind of locate the keyboard on the top edge there. You see those tabs on the top edge that were, kind of get them snugged in there. And then it'll kind of snug into place. And once you got it into place, you can put the screws back in. Again, there's a few screws. Not too bad of a part to change out and yeah if you spill something on it or keys go bad did it you can get bad keyboards all right now put this retaining uh piece back on it just press us on so we usually watch how we start in one corner kind of work your finger around the edges it's just snapping into place if you got it lined up properly it'll snap in fairly easy okay now we're gonna flip it back over those connectors that we push through the hole, we're going to make sure they're in the connection spot. Drop the connecting cover over them. You see how we're putting those in? There's four of them. Not so conveniently located under the battery. Get them all in. Snap the cover over. Now you can assemble this battery back in place. Couple of screws <clears throat> that hold the battery in place. And then put the cover on. These covers got little tabs on them. You kind of start it on one end and snaps in place. Push on it around. Once you've got it all down level with the case and snapped into place, then you can put the screws in. And that pretty much is the process. The trick there, that retaining, on the, probably the retaining ring that's over the keyboard is the most unobvious thing that you have to, you have to know how to take it off. And you see the trick there is we just pried it off. It wasn't held by any screws. So there you go. You heard it here on the laptop barn. Tips to help you out. See, I told you so. Very interesting. <laughs> From my ankle to the